time to put a roll cage in this car. With the road racing, autocross, drag racing that I plan on doing with this, I needed an NHRA level certified cage um, so I could do all those things. Um, as I started to look at El Caminos and how folks have put a cage in them, uh, became pretty clear that nobody had a really standard way of doing it. Sometimes they didn't put the kicker bars in it. Sometimes they did. Sometimes they went through where the rear glass was, used Lexan. I didn't want to do any of those things. I wanted to keep the factory glass. So I started looking at my options. Fortunately, the roof line on the 67 gives me plenty of room um, to go right through the roof and put the cage through there, the kicker cage through there, and keep the factory glass. So that's what we started to do. I had Ron Piercy, um, who's a local uh, cage builder up here in the Northwest, start to put a, in, install the cage in it. Um, he drew up a nice eight-point cage for it and started stitching it all together. Um, everything turned out well, um, exactly kind of the way I wanted it, going through the roof line. Um, all the mounting points are good, solid. Um, car was thankfully not a big enough disaster that it prevented it. Uh, one thing that was important to me was to get the, the Chris Alston swing out uh, door clevises. Um, those make it really nice for getting in and out of the car and, and not have to climb over the door bar every time. Um, everything fit perfect, um, nice and tight up against the, the roof and the, the pillars. Couldn't be happier with it. Uh, here's the part number for the Alston uh, swing out kit and um, Ron Piercy uh, who did the cage work. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe to the channel. If there's any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them below in the comments. Thanks, guys.